of the Northeast. So Izzy will sprint out of the south and drag its heavy snow and blustery winds directly into the Northeast. Places like Pittsburgh could see a foot of flakes out of Izzy and then Boston. Not really expecting the flakes, but it's going to be the gusty winds where we could see some wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. So we have winter storm warnings, winter weather advisories, winter storm watches for a lot of the Northeast. Now you go to the I-95 corridor and a lot of our big metros up and down that busy corridor and we're really going to be seeing a rain and wind event. Now as we get into the interior, that's where we're going to be seeing some heavy snowfall from places like Bits uh, Pittsburgh all the way up into say Buffalo where we could be seeing some very intense snowfall rates by the time we get to very early tomorrow morning and the gusty winds on top of that that's going to make travel very very difficult. So as we get into Tuesday a lot of this starts to lift out but we're still stuck with some of the gusty winds. Travel is going to be difficult starting tonight and then throughout the day tomorrow not just where we're seeing snow but also where we have the wind and the really heavy rain. It's going to be a cold rain too on the I-95 corridor. So for, for you tomorrow, areas like Syracuse, down to Scranton, Harrisburg, even Philly, that's where if you don't have to get on the roads, I just wouldn't recommend it because we are going to see some really tough travel conditions out on the roads. And also check with your airline carrier because a lot of flights have already been canceled or changed. Uh, Pittsburgh, this is when we could be seeing some of the heaviest snowfall rates come in. That's going to be starting later this afternoon into the evening time frame. And that's going to combine with our extremely gusty winds. So Pittsburgh, you can get where you need to be before this afternoon, before this evening. That is recommended. You see this big area of low pressure, of course, associated with Izzy that's in the south right now. That's going to deepen and intensify as it moves into the northeast. And with that, the winds are really going to crank up. So we have a wind advisory, but also we have areas.